All right, class. Uh, today, what I'm going to show you how to do is string your beads with a sliding knot so that your necklace is adjustable. So first thing we're going to do is cut enough string for your necklace. So I have 50 inches of string here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, and uh, I know this by experience, I'm going to tie a double overhand knot on this end just to keep my um, beads from sliding off. So I'm going to try to put it as far down the end as possible. I'm going to tie one double, one overhand knot, and then I'm going to tie another one. And I'm going to demonstrate on some string that's easier to see with what a what an overhand knot is. So here's my larger string. So an overhand knot is simply creating a loop and then coming up through the other side of that loop. Okay. Sometimes they call this a granny knot, but there's nothing special about it. And then I'm going to tie one more. And again, on that black string, the reason I'm doing that is because usually I'm trying to just put them like right over top of them. We're going to end up probably cutting these off anyway, but uh, usually one of these knots is not quite enough on this black string to keep those beads from completely falling off of there. Okay, so I've got my double overhand knot on this end. On this end, what I'm going to do is make sure this is cut really nice and neat, and I'm going to put some glue on it while I'm getting my pattern set up. And the reason I'm doing this is because this string will get frayed at the end the more I push it through the, the beads there. So I'm just trying to get it nice and small, give it a little twist, make sure that it's going to go through that straw all right. And just a little bit more glue on there will do it. All right, so got that to a nice point. While this glue is drying, I'm going to play with these beads. So first thing I want to do is lay these beads out in the order that I want them. So what we're going to talk about now is pattern. So you've got a couple different ways that you can organize these beads. So first off, we have different value. So we can see, I'm going to zoom in, this bead is dark, this bead is light. So we could alternate, you know, every other one. Um, sometimes you're limited to just what you have on hand and we just have to make that work. Uh, you could also alternate by, you know, color. So if you have some beads that are similar colored, you can alternate every other one like that. You could go two and two. You can see all these beads are the same form, okay? So next thing you could do is alternate by, you know, the form or whatever shape you chose. So you can see these two beads are the same form. This one's different. So you could alternate like that. So those are all the ways that you could alternate and uh, get a design out of this. So the next thing you're going to want to do is carefully lay these all out in the order that you would want them to be in. All right, so I've got my pattern laid out. First thing I'm gonna do is just start feeding these onto the cord through the straw and just letting them go ahead and come all the way down to the end. Again, that overhand knot there is gonna keep them from sliding off the end. As you go, if this string becomes more and more frayed and you can't get it through there, just apply a little bit more glue to the end, let it sit for a little bit, and you'll be ready to add more. Okay, so my next step, now that I've got them all on the cord there, I'm gonna get them all down to the middle. So I'm gonna even up the two strings here at the end and just make sure my beads are in the center there. Now, I like to keep them right here in the center. So what I'm gonna do is tie a knot on each end to uh, keep them from moving around. Now, I'm gonna teach you a new knot. You could tie two overhand knots right here, but I'm gonna teach you how to tie a barrel knot, uh, which is gonna be a bigger knot, and it's also gonna be um, meter. So, to tie a barrel knot, I'm gonna demonstrate on this cord right here, okay? Now, I've got a piece of straw, 
And what the straw does is going to allow me to easily go back through the loops that I create. So I'm going to make sure that I've got plenty of string on this end. I've got about five inches hanging out over there. And I'm going to wrap this around the straw. And when I wrap it around, I'm going to wrap around going backwards. So this first loop, I'm going to come up and I'm not going to go right here. I'm going to go around the other side of it. So I'm going to wrap that around three times. So I should see three loops. Now that I've got those three loops, I'm going to go through the inside of the straw. And when it pops out the other side, that's why you got to make sure you got about five inches or six inches or so. So I'm going to pull it this way and I'm going to go ahead and pull that straw out. And what that does when I tie that up makes a nice, neat, fat knot. Again, that's called a barrel knot. I'm going to do that one more time so that you can see it again. So untie this and I'm going to do it a little closer for you. All right, so here's my string. I've got about six inches hanging over on this end. I'm going to take my string here, lay it on top of the straw, and I'm going to wrap it around the straw. Again, I'm not going to wrap going this way. I've got to jump over that loop and wrap backwards. So I'll end up with three loops. And once I've got three loops, I'm going to go through the straw. And really, the only point of the straw is it holds these loops open so that I can pull this string through here. So I'll pull that a little bit, pull the str straw out, tighten up my knot. So that is a barrel knot, and that's a nice, neat, clean-looking way to finish and, and kind of keep your beads from sliding around. Okay? Okay, so when I've got that on this piece... I'm going to make sure that I slowly, slowly, slowly tighten that up and try to push it up against where I wanted those beads to stop. Okay, and then I'll be ready to tie one on the other end. All right, so got my barrel knot tied on each end. Uh, now what we're going to do is tie a sliding barrel knot. And essentially we're going to tie a barrel knot over the top of two strings, and that's going to tie this together. So I'm going to show you how to do that on my paracord. Okay, so I've got a piece of, two pieces of paracord here. I just uh, taped them together uh, so that you could see what I'm doing with each of these. Um, and so that's why I made them different colors so that you could really see what each one's doing. So if I'm making a bracelet or a necklace and I want it to be adjustable, I'm, eventually, I'm essentially going to tie a barrel knot here and a barrel knot here. But I'm going to tie it around this piece uh, as well so that it becomes a sliding barrel knot. So again, I'm going to make sure that I've got, you know, about six inches of material here. I'm going to lay my straw in here with these two pieces of cord. And again, both of yours are going to be black, but I wanted to show you what I'm doing here with both of them. So I'm going to wrap the one with the end here around again going backwards three times once I get around three times I can go back through the straw and then pull the straw out and snug that up I don't want this really really tight the more you tighten this the less it will want to slide so you can see now that this knot will slide and let that string move. So I would take that same principle and do it over here. So I'm gonna flip it over. Again, got about six inches of cord here. I'm gonna wrap it around three times. Back through the straw. And it's not quite coming out the end, but that's okay. I've got it in there. I'm just going to hold it, pull the straw off, and again, make my nice, neat barrel knot, not snugging it up too much. 
Okay, so the next thing I would want to do is go ahead and cut these or tie a knot that's pretty close to the end here and go ahead and cut off that extra. You really want to avoid trying to tighten your bracelet by yanking on these. That doesn't tighten it up, it just makes it harder to pull. So where you uh, adjust your bracelet is grab a hold of the knot and here, and really you're not supposed to be yanking on the ends here. That's just going to tighten these knots up and make it so that your sliding part doesn't work. Okay, so I'll take that same principle and apply that to my beaded bracelet. All right, so now I'm gonna apply that same information to my beaded bracelet. So I've got my two pieces of string kind of, you know, overlapping each other. So this one's going this way, this one's going this way. And then I'm gonna tie those knots here. So I've got this wrapped around here. Got those two together. I'm gonna add my straw to that and making sure I have at least six inches hanging off. And I'm gonna start wrapping around. And again, I'm wrapping around both those strings, working backwards. Oops. Sometimes easier said than done. And the whole point of the straw, again, is so that we can feed back through those loops. So I've got it around three times. Hold that now. I'm going to go through the straw. Pull the straw off. And again, I don't want to tighten this knot up a bunch. I want to leave it just a little loose so that it'll still slide. So to avoid the temptation to pull and yank on these, you can go ahead and tie a knot here. And the knot will just keep it from going back through your sliding knot. So I'm just going to, you know, tie it out here just a little bit. Doesn't have to be right up on it. And then I'm going to trim off the extra. So that part is done. And it slides along there. So I'll repeat that step on the other side. All right, so here's my end product. I've got... A sliding barrel knot here, sliding barrel knot here, and you can see that if I pull on this, it loosens it up. In order to tighten it up, again, I don't want to yank on these little knots. I'm going to kind of pull this barrel knot this way and pull this barrel knot that way. And that gives me an adjustable fitting of my bracelet or of my necklace. All right, go team.